Mina san konnichiwa. My name is Salem. I'm a junior associate professor at Kyoto University of Advanced Science. I came to Japan six years ago from Egypt, and I got my PhD from Tokyo University, and I worked there for two years. I moved to Kwas, believing in the dream of street smart engineer. My research interest is related to remote sensing, data science, and artificial intelligence. Today, I am going to briefly present about the basic concept of remote sensing. In addition, I will demonstrate how satellites and the drone can be used for the Earth's observation. Let's start our presentation. Welcome back. So today my presentation title is Earth's observation with satellite and drone, concept and application. The first question is, what is remote sensing? And remote sensing is a science of obtaining information about objects or area from a distance. So if we need to collect information about the Earth without being in a direct contact with us, so we can use satellite and drone. And to know the difference between satellite and drone, satellite usually fly in a higher altitude. It is around 600 km to 36,000 km from the Earth. Please remember that the Earth's radius is around 6,000 km. While in the drone case, they fly in a lower altitude, around 100 meter to 10 km. Flying in a higher altitude for satellite enabled them to collect the data about the whole Earth or the majority of the Earth. But the presence of the cloud may make some problem for some satellite. While in the drone case, because they fly in a lower altitude, they can provide image with a very high resolution. But the flight time for drone is limited maybe around 30 minutes, so if we need to cover a large area, we, we require to fly the drone several times. And we can classify satellites into two types. The first one is a passive satellite, in which the sunlight is reflected from the surface of the Earth, and then the reflected light will be recorded by the satellite. While in the active satellite, the satellite itself emitted some energy and receiving back this energy. And the question is, how we can use satellite to distinguish different elements of the Earth? For example, if we have tree or soil or water, how to do that? So when the sunlight reflected from this object, we can record this reflectance. And if we check this figure, so the x-axis is a wavelength and the y-axis is reflectance. And if we check the reflectance shape for the water, this blue curve, is different from the vegetation reflectance, is different from the soil curve. So every object has a different shape. This is similar to the human fingerprint. So the human fingerprint is unique for each person, and the spectral signature, which is the reflectance from every object, is different among these objects. And the remote sensing have a wide application in our life. We can use for the ocean, urban, cryosphere, atmosphere, agriculture and forest, and for disaster. Let's consider some examples. For the urban application, we can use satellite to detect the land cover change. The first example for Dubai in the United Arab Emirates. We have two satellite images. The first is in 2001 and the second in 2012. And we can see the palm tree in the 2012, but it wasn't there in 2001. And also for the Shanghai, China, we have two satellite images, one in 1984, the second in 2016. The green color here represents forest or vegetation, but the red color here represents urbanization, like the building or the houses, etc. For the atmosphere application, we can use satellite to detect different parameters. For example, we can use to detect the nitrogen dioxide concentration over China. So during the lockdown, we collected two images, one in January and the other in February 2020. And in January, we can see here the yellow to brown color, which means high concentration of nitrogen dioxide. 
while in February the concentration of nitrogen dioxide is very low. For the disaster application, we can check the wildfire. So in the news, we can hear about the wildfire in the Amazon or in Australia. So we need to check that. And we can observe the wildfire, for example, here between 2000 to 2019, over 20 years in a global scale monthly. So we can check how the wildfire changed between places and also for the same places in a different time. And we can correlate and check many parameters at the same time. For example, here, this is the cloud fraction or the cloud coverage. And here is the land surface temperature. Here is the sea surface temperature. Here is the snow cover. Let's consider these two. The cloud fraction, if the color is blue, it means less cloud coverage, and if it's white, it means high cloud coverage. For the land surface temperature, if the color is blue, it means low temperature, and if it's yellow, it means high temperature. If we consider this area, the Sahara Desert, so the, the, the cloud coverage is blue, it means low cloud coverage, resulting in the high land surface temperature in the Sahara Desert. As for drone, I am going to show the usage of drone for agriculture application. Our project in USA, Arizona, we have a several orchard. And we need to check the big country using the matrices 600 drone. And let me give you two examples for a healthy tree and unhealthy tree. The healthy tree have a more leaves and more color, for unhealthy tree has a less leaf and less green color. We fly the drone several times, collecting the data, and then using the red and near infrared band to estimate the NDVI index. The NDVI index value range from minus 1 to 1. If the value is close to 1, it means this is healthy tree. If it's close to 0 or minus 1, it means unhealthy tree or it's not tree at all. So this color for the healthy tree and this part is for unhealthy tree. In this part, we can see that the color is red and yellow, which means the NDVI is very high. It means it's a healthy tree. But in this part, it shows yellow to green color, which means this NDVI is low, which means unhealthy tree. By using the rune, we can check how healthy is the tree in a big orchard. In conclusion, satellite and drone is a very powerful tool for Earth's observation. And satellite can be observed large area of the Earth at one time, which enable us to collect more data in a short time comparing with ground measurement. That's all. Thank you. Bye-bye.